Hello, my name is Dasa, and I'm here to tell you my story of my experience as a child in this world and what happened to me when I was seven years old. I stayed in a village, and in this village in which I lived, I had to walk from school to home, which was about a 40 minutes walk yes 40 minutes and I remember walking from school out of school and it was sunny and it was quite hot and my friends and I were laughing at a picture that I had painted and I had to draw of a cow but the cow that I had drawn on the picture looked more like a box with legs so we laughed at my drawing and as I was walking out my friends said goodbye and I said goodbye and they ran to their parents and there in front of me by a tree was standing one of my father's friends who frequently came to visit us well him and my father used to always drink in the evenings together um, well he'd come with lots of alcohol and bring it and then him and my father would drink all the night through and my mother and I would quietly not be present um, so that we did not stir up unnecessary conflict because that had happened before and my father flipped out and he would just get furious and angry so we'd be mouse and I've known the mouse game for a while because my mother always said we must be as quiet as a mouse so I'd call it the mouse game whenever my father's friend would come over then I'd say to my mother mouse game and my father's friend was standing by the tree and he ushered me over and he said that um, my mother sent him to make sure that I get home safe um, because she she's recently become worried of me having to walk alone home, to home from school so we walked and we walked for a while and he asked me how I am and um, I showed him my drawing and what I had done at school and then a yellow car stopped and I remembered the dirt from the car um, that I had blown into my eyes because they were dirt roads and he took me and he said okay we're going to take a ride in the car and I said okay so I climbed into the car and we drove off and since that day I hadn't seen my mother again and neither my father because four months after that I was killed um, what had happened to me is they had taken me um, and they had taken me to another man they were in this home and there were about seven or eight other men sitting there and there were three women and he took all my clothes off and he looked at me and this other man gave my father's friend money, lots of money, and I stayed in that house from that moment forth, and I couldn't get out. I was locked into a room, and in that room I stayed for four months, um, and I was tied with my hands on the bed here. I was tied on my, with my hands on the bed there and sometimes my feet because I would kick and scream when other men and women would come in and fondle me and that's what they did so my father's friend kidnapped me and sold me to another man to for his business of making money through men and women coming and fondling me and 
a woman killed me actually she came in and she looked at me and she started crying and she said no child deserves this and she took a knife and she pierced my heart and she killed me and while she was doing that she was praying asking God to forgive her for killing me but I am grateful that she did because it was painful experience and it would be four times a week that a man or a woman would come in and do with me whatever they please and they would tie my hands and my feet <clears throat> and I wouldn't be able to do anything plaster my mouth so that I don't bite because I did all that and then I'd be whipped if I was out, out of character meaning screaming and yelling and crying and kicking I'd be whipped I had decent food but I was locked in a room and always there and then they'd come in and put me on the bed and tie me down and that's when I know that someone has paid to come in and fondle with me or have sex with me it was both men and women for four months when I was seven years old so what we must stop is human is this is the sexual tendencies and desires within human beings which is manifesting such experiences of children such as myself in this world it's collectively that is the reason why such experiences exist because of human beings sexual tendencies and desires so please assist and support yourself to sort out sex and sexuality inside of yourself particularly with regards to relationships also that sex is no more feeding the constructs and manifestations in this world such as children such as myself being sold for sex thank you this is Dasa